Now, as you can see on the screen, that is definitely, actually, the real Black Ops 3 logo. The 3. And I'm going to play the trailer that was just revealed not too long ago. And then I'm going to come back and break down little bits and parts of it, alright? This should help you remember everything. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Everything you know is wrong. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. They'll always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. So as you can see there, that was the trailer that they just released. A little teaser trailer to get us excited and hyped up for the new Black Ops 3 coming out. So I hope you're all decently excited. Now it's time for me to break down bits and pieces of it. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, the numbers, are they back in Black Ops 3? What? Why? I mean, they were referenced in Black Ops 2, so it could be possible they might be coming back slightly for a cameo or whatever. But I'm going to play a video that's going to show you the whole number sequence, and then we're going to come back, okay? 1, 7, 21, 4, 2, 14, 3, 14, 7, 18, 13, 6, 22. Do them what you wish, General. This is my gift to you. In honor of our new relationship. The subject has been successfully implanted with the knowledge to translate the number sequences. Now we'll cover a little bit more on the numbers and all that, but with the next clip, it'll kind of bring in another aspect that's going to tie in with the numbers. Everything you know is wrong. Now everything that we know is wrong. Now that's a pretty powerful statement right there, because we've been through Black Ops 1 and 2. Well, I mean, you could put World at War in there, because Reznov is from World at War, but we'll cover more with Reznov a little bit later on in the statement. Well, in this portion, I guess. Sorry. Everything that we know is wrong. That could mean a lot of things, but I'm going to tie it in with the numbers real quick. So, the whole number thing. Now, we know if you play Black Ops 1, it had to do with Verkuda and... Uh, the Rosalka, or Ruska, blah, 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 the ship that was fucking in the ocean, and whatever. But we've also seen a very important franchise have to deal with a very significant portion of numbers and sequences and whatnot. And I'm not talking about Lost, with, you know, 418, 21, whatever, whatever, lottery numbers. I'm talking about The Matrix. As you can see on the screen, it's going to have the matrix you know, uh, sequence of the numbers. Now, those numbers are green. And in Black Ops, those numbers were red. No, sorry. Yeah, they were red. Yeah, they were red, sorry. In Black Ops, those numbers were red. In this, they were slightly white with a twinge of orange in it. Now, you might be saying, what are you, what are you getting at? Everything we know is wrong. That's basically the phrase Morpheus said before he gave us the pill, and we chose the cool pill because it gave us fucking powers when we were in the Matrix. Morpheus told us everything that we know was wrong, that this world was wrong, it's, it's fake, it's not true. So what if, what if, if you've also followed um, Black Ops, Call of Duty, on Snapchat, they have, you know, these videos that are trying to hypnotize you and make you wake up or see things, what if the world that we're in, the Black Ops world, is actually fake. It's the Matrix. It's like the Matrix. And they're trying to wake us up. Now you might be like, that's complete bullshit. 
I don't believe you. Well, I mean, you, 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 sure, why not? You know, I mean, yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's throw that one out the window then. But if everything that we know is wrong, then that brings up another key important player in the Call of Duty franchise, for a Treyarch at least, and he's on the screen now. His name is Viktor Reznov. Viktor Reznov is very important because he leads the charge, the Russians, in World at War. He then gets captured on the screen, as you can see, in Black Ops region-ish, kind of Cold War. He's in Verkuta, so he's in Black Ops. And then, with a video that's going to be playing after, or in between, the pens, Viktor Reznov tells us that we should kill Krachenko, Steiner, Dragovich. He's very important in the Black Ops. And then he is featured in Black Ops too. Now, with the video that's going to show after this, I decided to put it after. It's told to us through Hudson that Reznov died at Verkuta during the escape. But, this is caused a really huge issue between the community because... Because some of these things that Mason, Mason, as Hudson says, Mason did, seems very unlikely. Even with a man of his own training, it seems very, very highly unlikely. Unlikely, unless he had someone to help him, someone guide him in there and do it with him. So it caused this whole, is Reznov alive or dead? Was he real or fake? If everything that we know is false, it's fake, it's not real, then who's to say that Hudson isn't covering it up and Reznov was real? I mean, we have the player watching Reznov kill Steiner. Then we have Hudson's story saying otherwise. It's not unknown of that the government has lied. They've hidden the truth to get something, or, or to build up hype and anger and rage to do something. Who's to say that Hudson wasn't told by the higher ups to tell Mason Reznov died? And who's to say that Reznov that didn't happen to be in Black Ops 2 and save us? I mean, it's pretty coincidental, I mean, I guess. If you, you, if you want to be that person, it's coincidental that Reznov was there and he saved you in the woods. Well, I mean... If I'm Viktor Reznov, and I hate, who was it, Dragovich that survived in Black Ops 2? If I hate Dragovich, and I realize he's still alive, wouldn't you hunt him down to kill him? Wouldn't you go to the lengths to get him? Who's to say that uh, Reznov didn't get intel? Find Dragovich. Get there. Ends up meeting Mason and saves his life and disappears. Leaving the whole, like, Mason's crazy! He says Reznov saved, up on a, saved us on a horse, but it was clearly these locals, and he's just fucking batshit crazy. Who knows? Everything that we know is a lie. Everything we know is fake. It's false. Who's to say? Who's to say? The pain is difficult, isn't it? Dragovich brainwashed you, but Reznov had plans of his own. Yes. Reznov. How'd you get out of Vakuda? Never thought I'd see you alive. He was never in Vietnam. The real defector with the Nova 6 dossier died during the attack on the Mac V. He was never in the rat tunnels. Rebirth Island. My name is Victor Reznov. Mason! My name is Victor Reznov. And I will have my revenge. Mason, no! Step eight, Reznov. Freedom! For you, Mason! Not for me! Victor Reznov's been dead for five years. He died at Vorkuta during the escape. 
all the years you thought he was with you, that was just in your mind. I trusted him. That's why it worked. It was their attempt at MK Ultra. Dragovich programmed you to kill Kennedy, but Reznov sabotaged you. He wanted revenge for all the Dragovich done to him. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Steiner, three new victims. There are gaps in your memory. Periods where you went MIA and we couldn't account for you. But now that the brainwashing's been broken, all that lost time will come back. We need to leave. The Nova 6 strike is imminent. Hundreds of sleeper agents, hidden in every state capital, are about to unleash this poison on your own countrymen. When Steiner died, we lost our key to unlocking the location of number broadcasts. You were programmed at Borkuda to translate the number codes. Only you can tell us what the codes mean. Nova 6 was just one of the sleeper operations, but I'm sure there were others. Ones we didn't even know about. We have the broadcasts. We played them to you over and over again for hours, but we haven't been able to break through your programming yet. Mason, this is our last shot. Listen, for God's sake, listen again. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. Now, if I'm positive, that was said by Menendez to little baby kid David Mason. Now, David Mason's life was pretty shit. Now, as you can see on the screen, you got Alex Mason. Now, he's looking pretty hard-ass because he just, he got brainwashed. He found out his friend was dead, and that was actually him being batshit insane. Now, he's got to be dead because his, uh, his wife is, I don't know, either divorced him or is dead. We don't even know. And now he's got to go back into the field, and it's, it, it, he's, he's a hard-ass. Like, M Mason, Alex Mason looks like a fucking asshole. And David Mason, like, it, when he fell from the tree, his dad told him to get up and stop being a pussy, pretty much. Like, shit. And then it, it gets even worse, because then, then his dad goes into the field with Frank, gets killed. David loses his dad. Gets told by Menendez, your life is gonna be shit, kiddo, get over it. Like, it's, 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 mm. David's life is garbage. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. Now, we haven't heard that said in the Call of Duty franchise... Franchise? Franchise just yet, I believe. So that's probably a Black Ops 3 exclusive quote for right now. But from what I've heard from a YouTuber, Mr. Waffle Waffles, his YouTube channel and videos in the description down below, um, he said that Black Ops 3 is going to be placed in a dark, twisted future where we are losing the grip and the sight on what's the difference between humanity and our own technology and whatnot. So, that would mean that with a quote later on from, well actually it's in the trailer, from Wood saying they need soldiers like us or whatever, they need soldiers like the Black Ops soldiers, you know, Frank Woods, Mason, David, Harper. They need soldiers like that who are willing to fucking put their dick on the line. Because no one else will. No, no, no one else is going to do it besides them. They are the balls to the walls, get shit done guys. So in the future, and this is a dark and twisted future, that means that people are going to be cybernetic up like it's fucking deus ex machina. And you're going to have Adam Jensen in there, going in there, saying, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be this. Which means that quote, he doesn't need the weapons, he's got ours. He doesn't need, he doesn't need, you know, weapons, like guns or whatever. He has what's built inside him. Kind of like how in Advanced Warfare, they have the Exil suits. You know, like, it's, it's getting there, and it's getting to the point where, like, the exosuits were a weapon in itself. Like, they would, you could punch someone, they punch through a wall. You kick someone, through a wall. You could fly, you could power slam, you know, you could, like, the exosuit itself was a weapon. It was a powerful, powerful weapon if utilized properly. So, in the future, if they don't need weapons, they just need whatever is modified inside them that is terrifying. And those exosuits in Advanced Warfare, they don't even compare then. They don't even compare. 
Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. All right, this next quote is going to be a somewhat long-ish portion because this is a very, very important quote, very important part of what Black Ops 3 is probably going to be about. Now, from all the other Call of Duty games, well, in life in general, when it comes to warfare, war is generally estimated in how far you're willing to go. So if you're willing to bomb an entire village to take out some enemy intel or whatever, is that is that is that how far you're willing to go? Like, are you willing to kill those innocent people to annihilate these enemy these enemies and then and the intel and, and the weapons that they're probably storing? There? Like, are you willing to kill those innocent people just for that? So this this quote is very powerful because this is going to show in the game. And for possibly zombies, but more for the game campaign-wise and, and, and multiplayer, how far the people in the campaign and game are willing to go. How far of their humanity are they willing to sacrifice to become ready to fight, ready to kill, ready to win? How, how far? And it, it brings us back to, to the days of zombies, of, of World at War. Now, in World at War, zombies and kind of like origins when you take it backwards but we're gonna go with zombies in general from black ops one two and order war i got that you know it's you know what i mean it's supposed to be what war and all that but blah, blah, blah. maxis maxis dr maxis the he was the leader of group 935 and he was willing to go as far as he had to to help win his motherland a victory so that would mean that he would take zombies, he'd infect people, the dead, um, bring them back, he would try and teach them, and brainwash them, whatever he had to do, he, he would go as far as he had to, to secure this victory. Just like Rick Toffin was willing to do whatever he had to do, he would kill anyone in his way to get that victory. Maxis? Maxis was willing to go as far as he had to, to stop Rick Toffin in, in, in his victory, which meant blowing up the Earth if it if it if it really really got to that point, and it did. It got to the point he shot rockets at the Earth. Another another group, another company that is willing to go as far as I have to to secure this victory or whatever is Atlas from World at War, and not World at War, at Advanced Warfare. Atlas and Advanced Warfare are willing to do whatever they have to to win. And just like in their Zombies campaign, uh, not campaign, Zombies mode they have in Advanced Warfare, Atlas is willing to drop this gas on people in riots, you know, in, in the riot map in Exo Survival when it was first introduced, the cutscene. They would drop these... this gas canisters on anyone that was there. So it was all these bad guys and then the soldiers. And those canisters would bring back the dead and they would come at you and they, they would kill. And that was Atlas testing out the new weapon to see if it worked. And they're willing from the Exo Zombies mode to do whatever they have to to make sure this is fine-tuned and ready so they can send out these zombies and win whatever war they have to. That's that's that. That's, so far, that's what I'm getting from what Atlas is doing here, just constantly testing and doing whatever they have to, making sure that the four characters in Exo Zombies, uh, Exo Zombies survives, so they can test out these new zombies that, that they're inventing and then ship them out, and then save them, and then save save the four people, save the four people, send them out to the next map, and then do do it all over again. So that means that in this game, the limit is how far we're willing to go. How far is, is is are are the factions? How far are the factions in this game willing to go to secure a victory? If if it's in a dark and twisted future and we are already having a hard time to, trying to find the line between humanity and our technology, where, like where, will the line be drawn? How far are they going to go to win? What is going to happen? And that is actually the one of the most powerful and important phrases in this trailer because it's going to be the building blocks on how this game is designed and it's going to run and how the campaign multiplayer and zombies are going to go 
and I honestly can't wait to see what the multiplayer and the uh, more of the campaign though more campaign over multiplayer I can't wait to see what the campaign is like and how what the elements on how far people are willing to go how far these companies or or the military or the government are willing to go and how far that's gonna tie into multiplayer so personally I can't wait to see how far they're willing how much they're willing to sacrifice and what limits they're willing to break to secure this victory.